Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and this is Benji. And today we have another yoga for runners for you. So this one's gonna help you slowly build stamina and help you feel good, not just in your body, but in your mind as well. So hop on the mat and let's get started. Alrighty pals, let's begin standing today. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. And I just wanna congratulate you, commend you, give you a virtual hug for taking the time to do this in addition to your running practice, your running routine. I think this is really important and hopefully you can find what feels good here today, whether it's in the body or just finding some quiet time to be still, which we'll do at the end of the practice. So important that we do these things in conjunction with our other practices so that we can feel awesome and balanced and so that we can continue on. All right, so Benji's tired. He already did his run. He's taking a break. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. We're gonna send the hips back. Thighs uh, are strong here, so engaged, and hands are gonna come right to the thigh bone. Then inhale in as you exhale, you're gonna slowly sink back a little deeper into a squat and as much as you can, try to re resist this collapse of the shoulders. So you're gonna keep nice and long. Excellent. Then we're gonna turn the right toes out, turn the left toes out, and then slowly dip the left shoulder into center. Keep all four corners of the feet rooted and turn your gaze to look past your right shoulder. You should feel an awesome opening in the left inner thigh, the left groin. We're of course getting the hips open by sending them way back. Knees are stacked over the ankles. We're breathing deep here, spreading the sit bones left to right, getting a nice twist in the thoracic and the upper and lower back body as well. Great, slowly come back to center. You're gonna go right into the other side. So if your legs are tired, you can take a rest in between, but otherwise we'll dip the right shoulder to center. Same thing here, breathing, opening up through the right groin. Really seeing if you can use your breath to expand through all four sides of the torso here. Love it, inhale, lengthen through the crown, maybe turn to look past your left shoulder a little more. And then exhale, we'll, let's slowly come up. We'll straighten the legs. We're gonna turn the heels out from here so you can keep the toes exactly where they are. And we're gonna bring the hands either to the heart or to the waistline, so just whatever you prefer. And from here, we're gonna lift the chest, take a deep breath in, ground through the feet, and then you're gonna gently, you're not gonna create tension, but just squeeze the glutes in, hug them in just a bit so you're nice and engaged, kind of lighting up the core. Fabulous, inhale in, exhale, send the sits bones back, peel, think of your hip creases really peeling back as you look forward. Nice flat back position here. Again, hands can be on waistline or hands at heart. Nice and easy, lengthening through the entire hamstring muscle here, deep breath in, exhale to come back up, use your core, your center. Good, twice more like that, inhale in, exhale. Nice and easy, looking forward. Flat back position, just do your best. All right, digging into the heels to come back up. Reconnect with your breath, and we'll do that one more time. Strong in the legs, so lift your kneecaps just a bit here. Peel the hip creases back. Beautiful, we're kind of imagining the femur, the top of the thigh bone kind of hugging in as you send your hip creases back. Awesome, and then option for this, this round to release the fingertips down if it's available to you. And you can even release the weight of the head down and clasp the elbows. So an incredible and most therapeutic practice, uh, standing wide-legged forward fold. Wherever you are, take one more breath and then use your exhale and that connection to center to slowly come back up through flat back position and all the way back up to standing. Great, let your fingertips slowly drape just down right at your side body, feel the blood flow opposite direction. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, drop them down. <sighs> Twice more like that. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, drop it down. <sighs> Relaxing any tension in the traps, the shoulders that might have collected there one more time. Inhale, and exhale to drop it. <sighs> Beautiful. 
from here. You can keep the toes where they are. Hands can come to the waistline. We're gonna draw just the heels in again. Beautiful. Then inhale in, big power pose here. Exhale, you're gonna bend just your right knee, just the right knee. Great. Now, the bum's gonna wanna come out here, so try to keep the tailbone lengthening down. You're gonna really feel this in um, the hip socket, hopefully. Hands on the waistline. Beautiful, then straighten the right leg, and you're gonna take it over to the left. <sighs> nice and easy. So, uh, left knee's tracking left toes. Again, center bum typically is gonna wanna come out here, so lengthen tailbone down and lift up through the front body. So maybe we create this collapse when we're running or we wanna really train the body repattern to stack our spine in a way that will allow us to be the most efficient uh, in our movement. And when we are moving efficiently, then we're able to create a more sustainable practice, which we'll be able to grow, which we'll be able to get so many benefits physically, but also mentally from. Okay, straighten that leg. We're gonna do that one more time on each side, but with the breath, so inhale in. Exhale, bend your right knee, sink low. Inhale into center, dig into the heels. Exhale, bend your left knee, sink low. So I'm really lengthening tailbone down here. Okay, cool, rise up. Keep the right toes where they are. You're just gonna turn the left toes all the way in. And then actually let's hug the right um, heel in just a bit for a pyramid pose. So you're gonna pull the right hip crease back. Inhale in, hand on waistline or namaste, Anjali Mudra at the heart. And you're just gonna take that halfway lift again, pulling the right hip crease back, looking forward. Shoulders are gonna wanna collapse here, so keep it nice and open. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in again, if it's in your body and it feels right, exhale, release the fingertips to the earth. Good, then everyone, inhale to find expansion. Exhale to make your way all the way back up, nice and slow. And we'll reverse it, so we'll turn the right toes in, left toes out. Pull the left hip crease in. Find that lengthening down through the back body, shoulders melt down the back, shoulder blades, excuse me, melt down the back. Heart lifts, inhale, exhale, take it away. Breathing deep. Keeping the shoulders back. And then if it's in your practice or if it feels right in your body, maybe releasing the fingertips down for your final cycle of breath. Beautiful, inhale in, exhale to slowly make your way back up. Awesome, we'll bring the feet back underneath the hips. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Awesome, from here we're gonna cross the right ankle over the left. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, take it down, touch the toes. Beautiful, hang here for a cycle of breath in and out. And then we'll slowly inhale, reach for the sky, connect to your center, you're gonna step it back to hip width apart, and then right back into the other side. So cross the left leg over the right, and when you're ready, take the fingertips down, reaching towards the toes. Don't worry if you can't get there right away, that's what we're working on, that's what we're here to do. Take a, take a cycle of breath here, in and out. All right, now we're gonna sink that to a little breath here. So you'll inhale, reach for the sky, go hip width apart. We call this volcano pose, full body awareness. Exhale, cross the right foot over, reach down towards the toes. <sighs> inhale, rise up, ground through the feet. Exhale, fold, left leg crosses over, reaching towards the toes. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, cross and fold over. Inhale, rise up. Cross and fold over. And then one more time, just with the sound of your breath, you got it. Beautiful, inhale, reach the fingertips up high, feet hip width apart, mountain pose. Exhale, hands come to heart. All right, from here, zip the legs together, really together. And nice and easy, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, another forward fold, this time with the feet together. And then from here, you're gonna open your feet up as wide as your yoga mat, or if you're not on a mat, just a little bit wider than hip width apart. 
and let your toes point out, fall off the mat. Hi, Benji. And nice and slow, shake it. You're gonna drop your center down and we're gonna come into a nice low squat. Now really deepen your breath here. If you need to lift the heels here, please do. If you need to use your hands, full palm or fingertips on the earth, please do. If it's available, you might work to bring the palms together here. Big opening in the chest, no matter what variation you're taking, dropping the shoulder blades again, allowing them to melt down, down, down the back body. Take one big breath here and then exhale to release. You're gonna come forward onto all fours nice and easy so you can center yourself on the mat. Let's rinse it out with a little spinal flexion. So inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round through. Inhale, drop the belly, open your heart. And sharp exhale as you round through the spine. Good, inhale to a nice neutral spine, tabletop position. And from here, you're gonna curl the right toes under, send the right leg all the way out. And then just draw a semicircle with your right toes all the way towards the left side of the mat. And then take your gaze to look at your right foot. Should feel awesome. Press into both palms evenly and best you can really press away from your yoga mat. Getting a beautiful stretch in the right side body. Breathing into that right IT band, the front of the right hip crease, the psoas. Take one more breath, you got it. All the way into the right neck. Yes, and then exhale, slowly bring it back. Tabletop. Curl the left toes under this time, kick it out whenever you're ready. Then we'll draw a semicircle all the way around to the right side of the mat. Take your gaze, your nose, and look at your left foot and feel that awesome opening and release in the left waist. Drawing a line from the left heel all the way to the left side of the neck. Great, slowly bring it back in. You're gonna drop the elbows now where the hands were. And Yogi's Choice, you can interlace the fingertips here or you can keep the palms rooted down for a forearm plank. All right, so when you're ready, kick both legs out. Shoulders are over the elbows here. Your neck is nice and long. Turning on the core just for a little low back support. We're not gonna be here long, so press away from your yoga mat, building strength and stamina here. You can do some hip dips if you want, a little extra dipping, left hip down, right hip down. Otherwise, just keep it nice, beautiful, aware, static hold. We're here for 10, nine, you got it. Eight, gaze straight down, seven, six, reach the heels back, five, breathe deep, four, three, Two, on the one, slowly lower your knees. Keep your elbows where they are. Release the fingertips if they were interlaced and you're gonna walk the hips back, walk the knees back. Puppy posture, start to open up through the shoulder girdle. Feel a release through the rib cage. Obviously, great stretch in the back. Hips up high, keep your toes, the tops of your feet kissing down on the earth. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Great, then slowly dig into the elbows. You're gonna slide through all the way to a sphinx pose. Inhale to open the chest. And then exhale, you're gonna bring your right elbow in towards the center of your mat. We're gonna bend the left knee and we're gonna reach back for a nice big quad stretch. So try not to collapse into your right shoulder here. You can work to slowly get that right, let, excuse me, left heel towards your left glute. But obviously, if it's not there yet, no worries. We'll just do our best. You can even grab your pant leg or imagine. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. When you're ready, slow and with control release. We'll switch to the other side. Bring the left elbow into the center line. Bend your right knee, reach behind. Notice if this one's a little bit different, just take your time. In time, you can hook that elbow over the toes maybe if the quads are really tight. No toxic thoughts. Be kind to yourself. That's why you're here. Hey, buddy, no. And then again, with control, releasing slowly, bringing the hands back underneath the shoulders. We're gonna press back up, and we're gonna come all the way through, swing the legs to one side, and come to lie on your back. Excellent. When you get there, bend the knees. 
Bring the feet to the ground. We're gonna kick the right foot up and we're gonna cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Thread the needle here. You can grab an interlace behind the left thigh here. I prefer that over the shin because it kind of hyperextends the knee and if you've already done a lot of activity, I think this is better. So maybe interlace behind the left hamstring and then squeezing the legs up towards the chest. Option to extend the left leg if you like, a little extra hamstring length in here. Maybe option to rock a little side to side. Now you can close your eyes here and just breathe into the sensation. And then from here, slowly release your left foot down. Keep your right foot going over your left leg. So you're gonna cross it over your left leg and we're gonna shift the hips to the right side of the mat and allow the weight of the legs to continue their journey down to the ground. You should feel an amazing lower lumbar twist here. You can open up to the right side. You can keep your hands resting gently on your rib cage. Whatever feels good, bring the breath. A little lower back love. And then slowly go ahead and release that. We'll bring the right foot to the ground. Kick the left foot up high, cross it over the top of your right thigh. Same thing here when you're ready, thread the needle, lift the legs up. Breathing, breathing, breathing. As you squeeze your legs in, you can extend the right leg or we can rock gently side to side. Or both. And then allowing the right foot to come to the earth, cross the left leg over the right. We'll shift the hips, active shift over towards the left side of the mat. And when you're ready, continue the journey into this nice twist. Find what feels good here. These are the last few beats of our practice. So really just take some time here to be with the sensation. slowly begin to unravel, release. <clears throat> We're gonna just take a second here to windshield wiper the legs, just finding a little internal rotation in the hip. Just take your knees to one side and then the other. Okay, good. And then we'll come to one side. We're gonna press up slowly, come into our meditation seat. Just a second to get our minds right. Find stillness. You know, our running practice is so much about our mental headspace. It only makes sense to me that our cool down or the practices that we do to make sure our routines stay strong, get strong, and stay safe. It only makes sense to me that they also incorporate a little nourishment for the mind. So as you're ready, come into a nice comfortable seat. You can allow your hands to just fall wherever they naturally did, just nice and intentional. And sit up nice and tall, close your eyes and be still. And we'll finish with three deep breaths. Inhaling in through the nose. And as you're ready, exhaling out through the nose or mouth. Inhale in. And exhale out. And one final breath. Inhale in. Nice and easy as you exhale out. Beautiful, gently bring the palms together at the heart. Even if you just found a tiny bit of calm here at the end, relish in it, embrace it, and give thanks. Love you guys, way to show up today. Take good care. We'll finish by bowing head to heart. One final stretch of the neck, a reverent bow, namaste.